Munster A scored the game's only two tries in recording a deserved 14-9 win over Yorkshire Carnegie at Kinsale RFC on Friday night. The first chance of the evening came the way of captain Rory Scannell when Carnegie went offside in defence, but in conditions that were less than favourable to kickers, the out half was unable to convert on his first attempt. Yet it wasn't long before Scannell had another chance at goal, this time converting Munster's opening try in 14 minutes when Billy Holland eventually breached the Carnegie defence after numerous phases. A scrum penalty for the visitors should have reduced the gap to four just minutes later, but a miss from league convert Kevin Sinfield left Munster off the hook. Excellent physicality across a number of phases then saw Shane Buckley cross the whitewash, only to be held up in the tackle. Cahill Sheridan was the quickest to react to referee Fergus Kirby's whistle, the scrum half's quick tap and go from Munster's second try. With Scannell's conversion added, Munster led 14-0 after 28 minutes. Kevin Tinfield slotted Carnegie's only score of the half, giving Munster A a 14-3 lead at the break. Scannell's only kick a goal in the second half after Carnegie went offside in defence fell foul of the aforementioned conditions, and two penalties later, together with the sin binning of Sean McCarthy and Mario Segario, brought Carnegie within touching distance. Yet the Munster men held on to secure a deserved 49 win at Kinsale RFC.